Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. So today we're gonna to be installing a keyless entry lock in our RV, so stay tuned and we'll show you how you do it. Hey guys, and welcome back to Custom Castaways. I'm Barry, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos so, so in today's video we're going to be installing a keyless entry lock made by creative products group and it's their ultra e pro series which is the keyless entry series they do make this in a non keyless so you can get it either way but we wanted to go with the keyless so that we could try to eliminate some of our keys and so they also offer the key to like feature so you can get your your baggage doors and all your cam cam locks and everything key to light so we don't have those as of yet but in the future we plan on changing all those out so that we can have one key so one of the reasons we wanted to go with a keyless entry was one obviously for less keys but two was when we were in Alabama Jen got locked out so a lot of people don't know we didn't know and I don't think a lot of people know that these locks that come on your RV, the inside lock and the outside lock work independently. So if you lock one, you can't unlock it from the outside. Or if you lock the outside lock, you can't unlock it from the inside. And what happened was I got up early one morning to go on a fishing charter with my brother and my father. And I locked the door from the outside with the key because she was still asleep. And then she took the dogs out later that day for a walk and then when she come back the door was locked she couldn't get in she didn't have the key because she didn't lock the door so she didn't think anything about it but where i had locked it from the outside with the key you had to unlock it with the key so that cost us another 80 bucks to have the locksmith come and get her in the rv So guys, I want to tell you a little story about what happened to me. Barry went out on a, a charter boat to go fishing with his brother and his dad here in Mobile, Alabama. We went out on Dauphin Island and that day, it was actually the first day that I was in the RV by myself for a while. So he left it five o'clock in the morning so of course I was still sleeping I'm not a morning person but I got up made breakfast fed the puppies breakfast all that good stuff I had my hot tea and then I went to take the puppies out to go potty came outside shut the door like usual nothing new and we came back and the door was locked I have no idea how the lo door locked. We never take our key just to take the puppies out to potty. It was super weird, but it was very locked. So I don't know what happened there. It was, it was frustrating, I'll tell you that. And one of the dogs, if you don't know, is a bulldog and she cannot handle the heat. And here in Mobile, Alabama, the humidity is ridiculous. It feels like it's a thousand degrees outside. So, we didn't know what we were going to do. I tried to pry it open. Barry had got his toolbox out of the storage underneath the RV the night before to fix something. And so all the tools were inside. My phone was inside. Absolutely everything was inside, including the keys. And so I didn't know what I was going to do. But um, here at this RV park, this really cute RV park, called all about relaxing it it was one of the guys working so he came over and helped me and tried to use some extra keys that they had no luck so I ended up having to call the locksmith which cost me $85 that was too much but what do you do you know um, Barry's out in the boat my phone's inside I figured he had no service and not like he could come do anything about it because he had a key so that's what I had to do. Call up Smith. It was very frustrating, I'm telling you. 
Well, we had to wait about an hour, a little, a little under an hour. So here at this park, the guy that was helping me, he was super nice and brought a huge bowl of ice water for the puppies. So they were good. But we finally got in. So my day did not go as planned, which happens. And um, that's the way it went. But all in all, it worked out. You just gotta be on your toes and know, you know, take it as it comes. And so we got in. Doing good now. I'm sitting in this this hammock that's um, honestly not that comfortable, <laughs> but but it's it's a nice little area out here. This is right behind our RV. I'll show you a little bit of it. Barry's out there getting us ready to go outside. Do you probably see him? Because we are leaving today. I'm leaving Alabama. He's right over there. He's working while I'm chilling. <laughs> I've already done my inside duties. So we are taking off today. So we'll just do a quick unboxing to show you what comes in the box and we'll go from there. Of course you've got instructions, which no man needs. And you've got hardware and you've got the lock itself. So of course you got your keys. The reason we went with this lock was it's an all metal construction and the handles in this horizontal position, which seems like it may be a little bit easier to operate from when you're standing down your steps and trying to get in the door. So, and you got your keypad. So all these come preset with factory user code that you can't change. So this is like your emergency user code, but you can obviously change your code to whatever you want it to be. You also have your keys. So if the battery dies, all this fails, it'll still work with your keys. So on our instructions on the quick start guide to install the lock, Obviously the first step is going to be to remove your current existing lock and all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. Step two is to position the lock through the opening with, of course, the keypad facing to the outside. And just position it in. And then we have to install, install the, the plate with the two screws provided to hold the outside section. Next step is going to be make our connection. So after some finagling, you can see you can you can get it. Once you get it together, you just want to make sure that the inside part works your latch. Okay, so now we're back after about a little 30-minute break. We had to go get a battery for hours. After messing with it for a little bit, we realized after taking the battery cover off, we didn't have a battery. So I read. I went and checked online and read that it's supposed to come with a lithium battery, but 
for whatever reason ours did not. We bought it at the National Rally and perhaps somebody robbed it out of this one to put it in another one. I'm not sure what happened, but needless to say I had to go get a battery, which it takes a special battery, which is the C123 battery, which is not exactly cheap. The only place I could find it close to us was at a Walgreens and it ended up costing almost 15 bucks just for the one battery. But now we're back, so we're gonna finish the install and and so now I just need to take the four screws provided and it's secure the inner lock housing to the outer lock housing. it you can just press any any pad any key to wake up the pad and then we're going to push one two three four together and that's locked and then of course to unlock you're going to enter your code or use your key which we're going to enter the factory factory preset code for now then we'll change our code so we enter the factory preset code. Now it's unlocked. So now we're going to go through the steps to create our own code. All right. So to add or change a code, we have to push the nine zero button and hold for three seconds. So now that we got the two beeps, now we have to enter the factory code. So it beeps twice to let us know we had the right code. So now we're going to enter our new code. And then you have to enter it a second time. To let us know that it took the new code. Alright. So now let's try it and see if our new code works. So we'll lock the door. So verify it's locked. Now we'll try our new code. So that works. Okay guys, so that's a wrap for this video. As you can see, it was pretty quick and easy install. You could probably do this in about 10 minutes as long as you get your battery and everything works like it should. But we'll leave a link in the description down below for the product. I think their website's called rvlocksandmore.com, so you can go check that out if you like. And we'll do a follow-up in the future of how we, how we liked it, what we what we liked about it, what we don't like about it, and if we would recommend it. So, so if you haven't already, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything, and Sweet. we'll see you next week. Basically. We'll be installing a keyless entry lock yes. in our RV, so stay tuned. Yeah, perfect. With lots of enthusiasm. <laughs> Hey guys! <laughs> <laughs>